So those shoes represent something which are empty. That means there are no feet in the shoes, but there are memories with those shoes. Now he is talking to those shoes. He is personifying shoes. Now he is questioning them and asking, where are the feet? During the Second World War, when Germany was ruled by Adolf Hitler, he had this hatred towards the Jewish ethnicity. Hello students, I am Anil, Assistant Professor of English, Vidyas from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In this session, we are going to look at a poem titled A Wagon of Shoes by Avram Schutzkever for the students of BBA first semester. About the author, Avram Schutzkever is a Yiddish poet and a Holocaust survivor. What is Holocaust? Holocaust is that incident in history where the Jewish people were persecuted in all over Europe. So that incident is called Holocaust. He wrote poems that describe trauma and memory through the central images of shoes. In this particular poem, this man is going to write and describe trauma and memory through the central image of shoes. Written in the Vilna Ghetto on January 1st, 1943. There was a place called Vilna Ghetto near, near Poland. So he picturizes that event, giving the title A Wagon of Shoes. Shoes givers, A Wagon of Shoes depicts shoes that are simultaneously empty and imbued with memory. So those shoes represent something which are empty. That means there are no feet in the shoes, but there are memories with those shoes. Now let us see what is there in the poem. The wheels, they drag and drag on. What do they bring and whose? They bring along a wagon filled with throbbing shoes. In the first stanza, he gives a picture. In wagons, there are multiple shoes and they bring dragging on. And what do they bring? What are these things? They bring along a wagon filled with throbbing shoes. When they are bringing, they are filled with shoes and they are throbbing, they are shaking, shivering, dancing. You can imagine how can, however you want. The wagon like a cupa in evening glow enchants the shoes piled up and heaped up like people in a dance. A cupa is a wedding thing like this and here a wagon like Cupa, that means they are filled with shoes like Cupa. In evening glow enchants, in the evening they look like what? The shoes piled up and heaped up like people in a dance. When you look at these shoes, the poet is giving two opposite images. And he says it is like this and this place is filled with shoes and there he imagines people dancing. A holiday, a wedding. As dazzling as a ball, is it, are those, these events, is it a holiday? That means those people are happy for a holiday. Is it a wedding? A dazzling as a ball. The shoes familiar spreading, I recognize them all. So here the poet tells that what is the event that these shoes are dancing? He asks, is it a holiday, a wedding, a dazzling as a ball? The shoes Familiar spreading, I recognize them all. Now he says, yes, I recognize these shoes. What and from where have these shoes come from? The heels tap with no malice. Those heels make sound with no bad intention. Where do they pull us in? From where are they bringing these shoes? From ancient Vilna alleys, they drive us to Berlin. From ancient Vilna Alice, that means from the Vilna ghettos near Poland, they are bringing these shoes to the capital of Germany, that is Berlin. I must not ask you whose, my heart, it skips a beat. Let me tell me the truth, O oh shoes, where disappeared the feet? Now he says, I must not ask who, whose shoes are these, because the poet already knows. Tell me the truth, O oh shoes where disappeared the feet. 
Now he is talking to those shoes. He is personifying shoes. Now he is questioning them and asking, where are the feet? You are coming empty, but where are the feet? Those which were there in you. The feet of pumps of sh so shoddy with button drops like dew. Where is the little body? Where is the woman too? Now he says, the feet of pumps so shoddy. So beautiful feet were there in those shoes with button drops like dew. Those shoes are designed with buttons like dews. They are shining. Where is the little body? But where did the body disappear? Where is the woman too? The woman who was wearing that shoe, where she is now? All children's shoes, but where are the children's feet? Now he recognizes the shoes belonging to different people. Women, children, men, everybody. Now he asks all the children's shoes. There are children's shoes as well. But where are the children's feet? Where are their feet? Why does the bride not wear her shoe so bright and neat? There is a shoe of a bride as well. But where did she disappear? Where are her feet? Mid clocks and children's sandals. My mama's shoes I see. Now suddenly there is a shocking event for the poet. He looks at this and he is really shocked and surprised. Now he says mid clocks and children's sandals there. Sandals are also there. Mid aged people and also children's sandals. My mama's shoes I see. And suddenly he sees, oh, there is my mother's shoe. Where is my mother? On Sabbath, like the candles, she would put on, she would put them on in glee. He says, those shoes on Sabbath, a Jewish festival. During that festival, she would polish it like anything. And it was glowing and it was shining like anything. On Sabbath, like the candles, she would put on them in glee. She used to wear that shoes during the festival of light. So where is my mother? What happened to her? The heels stab with no malice. The heels, the dance with no wrong intention. Where do they pull us in? Where are they bringing these shoes from? From ancient Vilna Alice, again from the same place. Vilna ghettos near Poland. They drive us to Berlin. So here he ends the poem. So before you understand this poem, you have to understand one thing. During the Second World War, when Germany was ruled by Adolf Hitler, he had this hatred towards the Jewish ethnicity or Jewish people. Therefore, he orders this Nazi army to find them and execute them. And he wanted to cleanse Europe from Jews. He did not want Jews to be on that land. Therefore, the Nazi party did so many crimes on Jewish people. So this incident where Germany, under the rule of Hitler, the Nazi army executed Jewish people, this incident is called Holocaust. So in this Holocaust incident, those Jewish people who were killed in concentration camps, gas chambers, etc., their shoes were brought from different parts of Europe to Berlin, the capital of Germany. Why? Because they wanted to show to people that these many peoples they have killed. Therefore, the poet who observes this attitude of the Nazi army, he writes this poem. This poem gives us a vivid picture of how cruel was Adolf Hitler and his Nazi army. You have to understand this. Therefore, he gives the picture of shoes. He gives the title, a wagon of shoes, a wagon filled with shoes. But whose shoes are these? These shoes belong to the Jewish people, women, men, children, aged people, etc. And these shoes look like they, are, they were dancing, but the people were missing. Their feet were missing from the shoes. Where did they all disappear? They were all killed by the Nazi army. Only these shoes were brought from different parts of Europe where Jews were executed. And those shoes were brought to the capital of Germany, that is Berlin, to display how cruelly they have killed Jewish people. Therefore, Schutzgeber writes this poem giving the title, A Wagon of Shoes. I hope you understood the history of this poetry and the intention of this poetry, how vividly the poet picturizes the horrible incident of Holocaust. We shall meet in the next class. Thank you.